Have you ever wondered why Uranus spins on its side, unlike any other planet in our solar system? Yes, the enigmatic Uranus, the icy giant, with a unique tilt that distinguishes it as an oddball among its celestial siblings. This peculiar axis of rotation has always intrigued scientists and astronomers alike. Does it make you think, why? What could have caused such a deviation? The quest to unravel this mystery and understand the eccentricities of this icy giant led to the discovery and exploration of Uranus. The story of Uranus begins in the late 18th century with the invention of the telescope. This device, which revolutionized our understanding of space, allowed the British astronomer Sir William Herschel to spot a tiny distant object in the night sky in 1781. At first, Herschel believed he had discovered a new comet or a star. However, after careful observation and calculation, he and other scientists began to realize that this was no ordinary celestial body. The object's circular path and its distance from the sun were quite unlike those of any known comet or star. After extensive discussions and debates within the scientific community, it was finally accepted that Herschel had indeed discovered a new planet, the seventh from the sun. This new planet was eventually named Uranus after the Greek god of the sky. So Uranus was the first planet discovered in the modern age, a testament to the power of technology and human curiosity. The exploration of Uranus, however, had to wait for another two centuries. Our first real peek into the world of Uranus happened in the year 1986, thanks to the iconic Voyager 2 mission. Voyager 2, a brave and solitary explorer, has the unique distinction of being the only spacecraft to have visited Uranus so far. Launched by NASA in the late 70s, Voyager 2 was on a grand tour of the outer planets. It was a journey of epic proportions, spanning billions of miles and many, many years. After successful flybys of Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 2 finally reached the enigmatic Uranus in January of 1986. The encounter with Uranus was brief but fruitful. Voyager 2 discovered not one, not two, but ten new moons orbiting the planet, bringing the total count to 27. These newly discovered moons were named after characters from the works of Shakespeare and Alexander Pope. Keeping with the tradition of naming Uranian moons after literary figures, but the surprises didn't stop there. Voyager 2 also gave us our first detailed look at Uranus's unique magnetic field. Unlike other planets, Uranus's magnetic field is not aligned with its rotation axis. This peculiar alignment combined with the planet's tilt results in a wildly lopsided magnetic field. It's so lopsided, in fact, that the magnetic north and south poles are closer to the equator than the geographic poles. This unconventional magnetic field tells us that something unusual is happening deep within Uranus. It suggests that the planet's interior is not uniform and that there is a complex interplay of molten material and magnetic fields. The Voyager 2 mission was a milestone in our exploration of the outer planets. It expanded our understanding of the solar system and challenged our assumptions about planetary physics. Despite the vast distances and the harsh conditions, Voyager 2 persevered and gave us a wealth of information about the mysterious world of Uranus. The Voyager 2 flyby of Uranus gave us a fascinating, albeit brief, glimpse into this distant world. Scene script. Despite these discoveries, Uranus remains a world shrouded in mystery. For starters, let's talk about its unusual tilt. Most planets in our solar system spin on an axis nearly perpendicular to the plane of their orbit, not Uranus. This icy planet is tilted by an astounding 98 degrees. Imagine Earth, but with its North Pole pointing almost directly at the Sun. Now that's a head-scratcher. Scientists believe this peculiar tilt might be the result of a cataclysmic collision with an Earth-sized object long ago, but the exact details remain elusive. Then there's the matter of Uranus's strangely cold temperature. Even though it's not the farthest planet from the Sun, 
It's the coldest in the solar system. Uranus's atmosphere holds onto its heat so poorly that it measures a frosty negative 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Why so chilly, Uranus? We're still trying to figure that out. And let's not forget the tantalizing possibility of an ocean beneath its cloud cover. Some researchers hypothesize that under those thick, gaseous layers, there might be an ocean of hot, dense fluid composed of water, ammonia, and other substances. But until we can take a deeper look, this remains a hypothesis. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we look forward to unraveling these enigmas and discovering more about the fascinating world of Uranus. So there you have it, a journey through the discovery and exploration of Uranus. We've navigated the chronicles of its discovery, soared through the annals of its exploration and puzzled over the enigmas that still shroud this distant planet. From its unusual tilt to its complex ring system, Uranus remains a fascinating subject for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. But remember, the universe is vast and forever expanding, full of mysteries yet to be unraveled. Till next time, keep looking up and wondering about the mysteries of our universe.